So far, we've made two Filipino stews. A fritada, which has just a simple tomato sauce base, and mechado, which has the tomato sauce base combined with soy sauce and vinegar or lemon, or both. Today, I saved the best for last, which is basically my personal favorite, caldereta. What makes caldereta special is the addition of liver spread. That's why I like it so much. Now listen, there's a lot of liver haters out there, but you are not eating chunks of liver. The liver spread actually adds a thickness to the stew and gives it like a richer, bolder flavor. Oh, and before we get started, do not forget, click that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you can get updated with the latest videos. Caldereta typically has goat meat, but goat isn't easily accessible. So instead, I used two pounds of beef stew meat. Salt them and then set them aside to season while we prep the rest of the ingredients. Let's take six small potatoes and cut them in half. Or if you have medium potatoes, take three of them and cut them into quarters. Remember, use yellow or red potatoes, not the brown russet potatoes. Those guys will break apart. Next, grab about the same amount of baby carrots as potatoes. Combine these two because they will be cooked together later. Take one whole bell pepper. You can mix the bell pepper colors if you prefer. I'm using red and green to give the stew some color and cause these are my leftovers from when I made machado. Clean out the seeds and stem and then slice them into one inch pieces. Clean up your board if it's as messy as mine. And then we're gonna be slicing half of a large onion. The size doesn't have to be precise when you cut it because this will basically melt into the stew after we pressure cook it. After that, take about three garlic cloves and then just crush them with the back of your knife. We can saute the garlic in this crushed state, so just take the skins off and we are ready to use them just the way they are. Finally, now we get to use the Instant Pot. So first thing we're gonna do is click the saute button and then we're gonna wait for the display to read hot. Add about two tablespoons of oil and then wait about a couple of minutes for the oil to heat up. And then add the garlic and then follow that up with the onions. Saute these two for a few minutes until you can see the onions soul. AKA once the onions turn kinda translucent, like this. Add the beef. We're gonna brown the beef on all sides, which allows its juices to come out. The meat juices will act as our beef stock, so you don't have to add any extra liquid in this recipe. Once all the beef chunks have been browned on all sides, it's time to add our MVP ingredient, which is liver spread. I chose pork liver spread, but you can use chicken or beef liver spread as well. Dump one half cup of liver spread in the pot and then mix it well until it fully integrates in the sauce. Follow it up with one can of tomato sauce. You can see how the liver spread lightens up the color of the stew a little bit and also adds a little bit of thickness. Do you see that? Oh my gosh, so I forgot to add two bay leaves in here before pressure cooking, so add those now. Time to pressure cook. Pop on the lid and make sure that the vent is pointed towards ceiling. Press cancel to turn off the saute function and then press pressure cook and then press pressure level to set it to high and then use the plus or minus button to set the time to 30 minutes. Once 30 minutes is up, release the pressure by pushing the vent towards venting. I use a towel to control the steam. By the way, if you don't have a pressure cooker, just stew this on low heat for two hours. Here's where I realized I forgot the bay leaves. It's okay, it has its chance to shine while we continue cooking the rest of the ingredients. Time to throw in the potatoes and carrots. And then you're gonna season it with ground black pepper to your liking, and then add a bit more salt if it needs it. And then mix everything together before we pressure cook it again. Just like earlier, follow the same steps to pressure cook on high, but this time we're only pressure cooking it for four minutes. 
Once again, once the four minutes are up, make sure you fully release the steam before opening up the lid. And then the last thing we're gonna do is saute the bell peppers, one cup of peas, and as many olives as you'd like. I only added about half a cup of olives in here because they get pretty salty in the stew. Press the cancel button and then press the saute button. It'll automatically program to 30 minutes, which is fine. We're gonna turn it off manually once the bell peppers have cooked to the tenderness that you prefer. I like to cook them for only about three to five minutes so they don't get too soggy. And then you're done. You can let it sit until you're ready to serve. And if you've watched my other stew videos, you know I'm a fan of letting it sit overnight for the flavors to seep into the ingredients. But by all means, serve it immediately if you want. Caldereta was the last piece of the Filipino stew puzzle. And making these stews was such a valuable learning process for me to distinguish the differences between each stew. Make them at home and then see which one you like the best and make that your go-to Filipino stew. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching. And again, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!